trees have often been called an important contributor to the health of an ecosystem due to the important role it plays in the pollination of plants. These bees though are sick. They're infected with American fowl brood disease, a highly infectious spore forming larvae that is deadly to bee colonies. The Western Cape Bee Industry Association is the umbrella body to the commercial industry. They've been inundated with calls from concerned beekeepers after the flare-up caused high fatality rates among their brood. Everybody is worried. They phone, they want to know what is happening, what are the different um, role players doing, and definitely there are a huge concern out there of, of what is going to happen with honey, what's going to happen with bees, and what will do the commercial beekeepers do for um, to alleviate the problem. American fowl brood though is only dangerous to the bees and doesn't affect the honey whatsoever. But a high mortality rate has meant a drop in the amount of honey that can be produced. For commercial beekeeper Nelson de la Cuera, the disease has already taken a huge toll on his bees and his business. He's been left out of pocket after disposing of infectious hives. My operation, which is about 2,000 hives, it's about 15 to 20 percent that is infected. We have no other choice to kill them for the sake of the other bees, because otherwise the disease will spread. Uh, this, is, uh, robbing... this African bee species is known for its aggression, but here Nelson works among them in relative safety because of the grip the disease has on the swarms. Now, normally approaching a beehive will almost certainly result in a nasty sting. But this colony is infected with American fowl brood disease and has left the bees lethargic, sick and unwilling to sting. Signs of the extent of the fowl brood are all too evident. Hundreds of hexagonal cells are dark, sunken and foul smelling. A sign that this hive faces imminent disposal. Another worrying trend affecting beekeepers. We as uh, bee farmers are affected because we, our honey production is lower this year. And then also dead bees we can't take for pollination, so it's a loss. And the honey production of our hives, uh, we, we don't produce much honey as last year. So that's also a loss for us. So far, spores have been found right up to the Southern Cape, and the disease shows no signs of abating. It certainly spells a worrying time for the commercial industry as to what extent this may have on the swarms and their future. Travis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.